Hello, 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 YouTube family. My hair is done. My hair is golden. My hair is there. I gotta fit this. The highest bun you're gonna have. So I did my the front of my hair. It, it, it looks decent. It looks decent. I did it myself and I'm proud of it. And so we're just gonna roll about it because today is um video is gonna be uh -oh. Today's video is going to be called Praise. Praise. Because everywhere we worship, we want to find. Give him praise. Give him praise. We give God praise during our day. We give praise to God at waking up in the world. We give praise of development of Christ and Jesus. Thank the Lord that God for us all together. To be positive, to be humble, to be glorious. God is wonderful. God is so wonderful. God is so powerful. But God is so wonderful for all of us. Because in the world that he is trying to fight your battles. That think, things that you don't think that is going on. The nuances. God is with us. Through us. The powerful God. Everlasting God. The true, true God of everything. Thank the Lord for waking me up with laughter and our joy to be at peace. God wants you to be happy. You know, I always said to the Lord, the devil was messing with my mind. Someone said that the, Lord, the enemy was messing with your mind to not think that you deserve to be happy. The world does not want you to be relaxed. The world wants you to to be a certain soldier. The, the world wants you to be everlasting in their everlasting. God is everlasting, everlasting. I want to follow him. Oh, I keep dropping this today. So I'm going to hold it right here just for now until I switch it. Ooh, hope this video is not upside down. If it is, this is how it's going to be. Lord Jesus Christ and Lord of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for allowing us to have a covenant over this house. Thank you, Lord, for the Bible scripture I'm about to read today. Thank the Lord for the fellowshipping the two days of you telling me praise and um, um, prayer against trouble. Thank you, Lord, for there's another word, word that the Lord was using me, cleansing. That's another word, cleansing. That's going to be next week or maybe during the week that the Lord's going to lead me to cleansing because there's so many breakthroughs that's going on this morning. There's so many things that God is leading me to do very, very much. God is leading me to lead against my trouble. Thank the Lord thy God for healing. Thank you, Lord, for a heart, a loving God, everlasting God. God's shaping us. God is loving us. God is moving in our lives. Praise the Lord thy God for a covenant over our house Lord we take away the fear we take away the enemy we take away everything that's not of him we thank the Lord thy God for taking away demons and, and spirits and tormenting everything that that be taken away thank the Lord for praise thank the Lord for a covenant over thy house thank the Lord it's just today is one of those days where I'm gonna put this video I am going to prop it up just like this there we go because i need to get this word out and i woke up late my body needed rest the lord is so good i'm gonna update you guys before i start you see this wall this wall i told you guys downstairs i cleansed the the front of the room the front of the stairwell that for one o'clock in the morning and the lord told me to go downstairs to the butt the basement stairwell i was praising i was scrubbing that wall i was scrubbing every wall the lord told me to leave the other basement and i did that and i had started with that one first and then quickly i just washed the wall and the stairwell it felt so good it feels like fabuloso as some apple scent to it because one thing about scent it calms people down so give glory to god for that and eventfulness to giving the lord said to me um there's voodoo voodoo lord i oh that's i never that's a first for me ever because you know People are into witchcraft, you guys, but we are going to repent because we have to praise God for the unbelievers because they are God's people too, regardless, because everybody's a sinner. 
just the couple times that people who don't who don't give but they give a covenant unto God where the Lord will develop in the Lord their heart when they're ready when God is ready for that restoration for that person to be saved let's give God full praise over his people right now monumentally changing this house thank you Lord for sharpening this house thank you Lord for leading this house thank the Lord for giving us rest thank the Lord for food thank the Lord for everything give God praise he is our friend he's our miser he is our mega he is Jesus Jesus Christ is Lord of Jireh. Lord, he's praying for intelligence. He's praying for development in our house. He's praying for restoration prayer. He's giving up. He's giving for our next generation. He's praying for our children. He's praying. He's developing. He's loving. He's holding these soul ties enemy from our house. Thank the Lord thy God for full praise. I believe the development intelligent, my Lord, for every person, my Lord, that they shall go in there with their heads up high, their feet down low, because down low, the Lord thy God is giving us a steady state stand a clear to stand i thank you lord for the covenant of this house i thank the lord for every child restoration of everybody's in this mighty name of jesus i give the lord praise and the most high praise for the the uh my camp over my the the, the leave of absent and returning my lord i pray to you for every um workshop every paperwork every tension the lord thy god is with us and then taking the heaviness off us the lord is be clear the lord thank god wants us to rest the lord thy god wants us to be happy the lord thy god wants us to look our parents look good he wants it's like our parents who don't want us to look messy on us well he, they want us to make sure we have the best of everything or just what we need the lord does not want us to be um boastful the lord does not want us to be jealous the lord does not want us to be like well, look at that person over there. I'm not going to talk to him. You can't help everybody, but you could be kind and just be giving because the Lord led me to give $3 last week. I already told you guys that a couple videos ago. The Lord that God wants us to be humble. Praise the Lord that God for all of this. I'm so thank you, Lord, for the paperwork. The Lord told me last night, pray over your paperwork. You guys, this morning, pray over my paperwork, my application, because it's the enemy's hands is on that. He's holding yet so i called the camp yesterday or twice i called and it was a good thing that is because no one picked up she's like oh i didn't even notice you called which is probably a good thing or whatever happened she's i didn't have a phone all day because sometimes you have to be busy sometimes you're not always in your office yesterday i was i just needed god to work his his miracle work his hand working also god let's say with me say with me she, he can do whatever he wants. And so she called me back at 4.30. 4 o'clock. I was waiting. I was not even anxious. I said, Lord, I felt good. I called at 8.30 in the morning. And I said, you know what, Lord? You told me to take a risk. And praise be the Lord that God will, walk, will protect every walk that I do. I command this house to be quiet. I commanded this house to do what we have to do. I pray the Lord's leading me to pray for more subscribers. Lord, I, last night the Lord said more subscribers. I pray the Lord for more subscribers on my channel. I pray the Lord for development in Christ that the, um, I'm getting more comfortable, more confident in the hands of because you, I'm learning from different YouTubers, different chains of uniqueness, how to talk. And I'm like, oh, I just saw on um, chats with chats with Flo she said five things I'm grateful for. I said Lord those videos are so good um tr um chess with crystals oh my inspire me love Joseph you guys are awesome people I'm learning from you praise the Lord for your channel praise the Lord for the development praise the Lord for everything we need to move and do forgive me you guys I just want to see what time is it I'm just gonna go into this um also they called me. I can go. Oh my goodness. I can go a long time. Lord, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to just get this off right here. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for allowing us all to just take a deep breath. Lord, I ask you, Lord, to give us praise and give you glory, my Lord, development in your house. I pray to you for the new toys that's going to happen in my day here, Lord. I pray to you for the pencils, my Lord, that everybody's going to praise and worship you and write in their journal to write down the, the daily Bible scriptures, to write their book, my Lord, to write their lesson plans, to write their um their work for their bosses and looking for them i pray to you for 
cars, if they're going to travel far, Lord, travel to another country. I pray for AZ, Lord, in my spirit, my Lord, I'm going to go there. I pray to you, Lord, for restoration in everybody's house. Uphold and take that stronghold of generation curses that stops now because we're casting out demons. We're casting out scorpions. We have leeway over that. My Lord, remove that voodoo spirit off their paperwork. Everybody's application, my Lord, implementing things that's happening in my life. We'll pray for them to go over and twist and turn and bond. You said to me to be at peace. My Lord, you said to wipe my tears. Why are you disappointed? My Lord, I give you high praise because if I don't, my Lord, you're going to just say, what is the glory? Why are you going to give me significant glory? How are you going to help other people when you do not believe in me? I remember the time the Lord said to me, you abandoned me over the summer. I was in repentance. And I said to the Lord thy God, I'm never going to abandon you again. But the Lord thy God, you're going to twist and turn and give your hand out right now, the light of the lamb and the word of God and the light of the land on my right and the word of God on my left. The Lord thy God is destroying. The Lord thy God is molding. The Lord thy God is twisting and turning for this house in peaceful glory. I give you peace unto you, my Lord, for restoration prayer, my Lord. I pray to you for the word of God. Go in there and destroy them. Cast out these spirits. Thinking that these spiritual realms are open. Close those doors that need to be shut. Open those doors in the spiritual realm that's going to be healing and breakthrough for your viewers right now, God. I give them all up to you, my Lord. The word of the God is powerful. The enemy is afraid of development and righteousness. Clear. Lord, clear that path, my Lord, for every viewer that is having stronghold off their finances. But we give you praise if it's $75 in our account. We give you praise because our bills are clear and we're out of that rut my lord i thank you for financially significant and successfulness on the everybody we break that breakdown we break that pain we give god praise we lay it at his feet we remove that fear that anxiety from our house my lord i thank you lord for this to be obedient allow us all to be obedient praise the lord for restoration praise the lord for restoration i pray to you lord for your development because i have to be on this bus in less than a few minutes i took my shower lord i thank you lord i gave it on to you i gave my hair to you my lord i gave everything i said lord i'm gonna give my hair i'm gonna go to the shop and get it professionally done for now this is just right thank you lord for anchoring us thank you lord for praise and thank you lord for majorly giving us praise and allowing us to say thank you lord and i love you and love that permanent key storm the lord will be the permanent to our key to our storm thank you lord for restoration obedience thank the lord thy god and thank you guys for hearing me pray i'm about to read the word of god but before i go i wanted to show you what god was leading me to do a couple a month ago one of my um brothers in christ um Demar was like okay the lord said for you to you have a wall do a big and also it was something gold that you you had he said it was like a cross you wanted to put on your wall it's in your room the only thing that's gold in my room that it was so significant i know it's, it's like a teddy bear that my niece um passed away when she was first born and and i and it's, and it's not that i worship over it it's just Something that is just so significant to me because um, I prayed to God that she was going to be naked, but she was so weak. But we give God praise over the children right now. And that um, it's the only gold, old gold thing I have in my room that's so special because it's like a little bear, a little ring. I remember I was at Goodwill. My sister was pregnant and I said, Lord, I want to buy this from her. And it's just a week later. She passed away. Sometimes things work like that. So we're going to give her praise because she is, her birthday should be coming up. And I never really get a chance to celebrate on that day because I'm always working. But it's always a still day. You know, how many years she was, um, it was been nine years now since that happened. Nine years. Life is so short, but nine years. But anyway, that her memory will always be with us. So anyway. 
I brought these, I brought two, so we're gonna put this in the background, put some things in it to give something more to look at than just a plain tan wall. So any today is a really great day. I'm gonna call the Girl Scouts, I'm gonna fix my hair, I'm gonna dip the hair, I mean I'm gonna seal the ends, I'm gonna fix this little bun that is just going like this with me. Okay, so guys, I went to church on Sunday. I was late, but it was right on time. So I was in church. I'm going to give God praise. Um, I was in, wrong scripture. I was in 2 Corinthians. He told us to go in between 2 Corinthians 1 and Corinthians 2. Now, I knew, I know, I always, this is how I always read the Bible. I said, Lord, lead me. I'll randomly open. Random open and prayers, and I'll go into that, and I will study that, study that, study it, randomly open. That's how it is. So, I learned that there's two Corinthians. I know there was two, one, and two, but it's just, I never read Corinthians. So, I was like, oh, okay. So, me being a newbie, I was like, okay, Corinthians 1, going verse 1. I was like, no, no, there's two verses, because it, it just jumped, it just jumped back in my mind, you know? Just jumped back in my mind. So, in um, True Corinthians chapters 9, how does everybody say good morning Pisces? Here it comes. Here comes his tail. Or he might knock it over. Or 10, 11. So, I'm going to let the Lord lead me right here. Of um, 10. Verse, verse 10. Um, chapter 10, verse 12. I'm going to start right here. It says, we are proud of our works because I think it's so appropriate what's going on. We don't declare to, oh, sorry, we'll start again. Verse 12. We don't dare to put ourselves in the classes and compare our, ourselves with some of those who speak highly of themselves. But when they measure themselves by their own yardstick and compare themselves to themselves, they don't show good scenes. Now we'll limit our boasting, our limits of the field of work to the which God is bound to us. This includes coming to you. It is not as thought we were not coming to you. And so are reaching beyond our limit. We were the first to reach. We will be good news to Christ. We are not going to be on our limits. Because we have to be where God sets us to be. We have to clear the path where God is teaching us to be. We cannot go about our 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 um time because sometimes God said, "Why did you go to the next limit?" It's like Moses, for instance. I, I'm going to use what the pastor said. God command God um to Moses to speak to the rock. What did God? What did um Moses do? He smashed the rock, the um something on it. But then was he listening? No. God said for him to speak to it. You got to listen to God. You cannot go over a step unless God said take a risk. In my instant, God told me to do, go 830, but also he was nudging me. The old me, the old fear, which we all already said it. But if God said take a risk, God said to hurry, God said to hurry. You know? Boasting what was done by others, and we expect your face to grow. So... As enlarge the work in the field in yours and area until it goes beyond you. You will tell the good news in the country beyond you, done in another man's field. But if anyone feels proud, he should feel proud of the Lord. You should be very proud of what the Lord is doing for you. You should all say, Lord, thank you, Lord, for allowing us all to be. Shouts to the bum. Lord, thank you, Lord, for allowing us all to be. Shouts of above shout of above thank you lord for saying and really saying shout of above jesus i thank you lord for my day hallelujah give god praise you're wonderful god thank you lord for the development in our day i say jesus for restoration thank you lord for this application i thank you lord for the strength to call without fear in my spirit feeling impatient oh god thank you lord for the intelligence my lord the lord said to these two word arrangement and be open i give you praise for these two words and it's also the time at 8 30 thank you lord for this development and also we say it again not the man who approves himself it really above but he of whom the lord approves 
Amen. I bookmarked that because I'm going to read I Am Jealous, I Am Bold Tomorrow, and also How to Give. Praise the Lord thy God for that. And I showed you guys my two things and also the price was six dollars where i got this from was um the dollar general got a little development in our house it's raining i gotta dip this hair i gotta fix this bun praise the lord thy god for the um removing ignorance and giving god praise over everything and moving the voodoo spirits and also um allow the paperwork to go through for every application um, housing mortgage everything that needs to be let's say love is all around the lord thy god removing satan on our away from our feet uh, lord i thank you lord for allowing um satan to move off of my hair and that's another thing where the enemy touched my hair oh my goodness i can tell you how much breakage i had my hair was growing flawless flawless but now it's like i said oh working with children young with anything dealing with your face dealing with anything that you can just put little cream on but one thing about your hair is a crown and i also I gave my hair to my husband i said lord i develop my hair to you every time i'm not here the lord that's i vow to god to never cut my hair or allow my hair to grow stronger so i can so i notice as the cutest thing i said the lord allow it to be where I know what the length is coming, so I know he's coming close to where I'm married. I said, Lord, I will, I will, I probably won't never, I pro I will never cut it until I get married. <laughs> so I'm just gonna braid it up, moisturize it, do my morning routine. So I have to hurry. I say hi to Pisces. Everybody say hi to Pisces. My room is a mess. <laughs> so ah, it's raining out. Such a great, beautiful day. I gotta get this bun down, fix it. So, you guys, I love you guys. Love is all around. Let's attach this heart to complete. Welcome my new subscribers. Thank you guys for listening and doing what we have to do. Bye-bye.